This woman shared the same bed with her dog every night, happily, until three months later, something terrible happened that threatened her life. What happened next will warm your heart. Maggie, who had always cherished dogs since childhood, felt it was time to bring one into her life. The thought filled her with joy as she envisioned the companionship and love she could give to a furry friend. Being new to the city due to her job, she also saw it as a way to stave off loneliness and boredom. With excitement bubbling inside her, Maggie headed to a nearby animal shelter she had found online. As she walked through the doors, she couldn't contain her eagerness to meet the dogs awaiting adoption. Her heart raced with anticipation, hoping to find a dog that would instantly connect with her. The shelter was filled with barks, wagging tails, and hopeful eyes. But one particular German shepherd caught Maggie's attention. Amidst the hustle and bustle of the shelter, Maggie's eyes locked onto a beautiful German shepherd named Brad. His fur was a mix of golden and black, and his eyes held a gentle yet playful gaze. Brad approached Maggie with a wagging tail, his eyes lighting up with curiosity and friendliness. He nudged her hand, seeking affection and treats, melting Maggie's heart with every playful gesture. Maggie couldn't resist Brad's charm and decided to spend more time getting to know him. The bond between them grew stronger with each passing moment, and Maggie couldn't help but smile at the joy she was experiencing simply being in his presence. Little did Maggie know that in the months that followed, an unexpected and shocking event would unfold, changing their lives in ways they never imagined. After Maggie discussed with the shelter staff and they happily approved Brad's adoption, she couldn't contain her excitement. With Brad comfortably seated in the front passenger seat, Maggie drove home, stealing glances at her new furry companion every chance she got. Once they arrived at her place, Maggie brought Brad inside, eager for him to familiarize himself with his new home. The first day at home, Maggie rummaged through her refrigerator to find something to feed Brad, wanting to make him feel welcomed and loved right away. The next day, she went on a shopping spree for dog treats, toys, and nutritious food, determined to give Brad the best care possible. Seeing Brad wag his tail and enjoy his new treats brought a smile to Maggie's face. As days passed, Brad's gentle nature and protective instincts endeared him even more to Maggie. His size also gave her a sense of security, knowing he could protect her if needed. Maggie found it hard to be apart from Brad, except when she went to work, since she had no choice. Every evening when she returned, Brad's wagging tail and excited barks welcomed her home, filling her heart with joy. At night, Maggie and Brad shared the same bed, finding comfort and companionship in each other's presence. Brad's warmth and affection made each night peaceful and reassuring for Maggie. Maggie had first tried to keep Brad off her bed in a plight to set up some boundaries, but she quickly relinquished after she woke up a couple times with Brad by her side. He was adorable, and he made her feel safe and happy. Everything seemed perfect in Maggie's world until one day when something unexpected and out of the ordinary began to unfold, casting a shadow of uncertainty over their peaceful life together. As Maggie woke up each morning cuddled next to Brad, she couldn't shake off the feeling of fatigue and weakness that seemed to linger. At first, she brushed it off as stress from her job, assuming a good night's sleep would remedy it. However, as the days passed, Maggie's condition didn't improve. She ate a few fruits, hoping to boost her energy, and went about her daily routine of feeding Brad and heading to work, but the fatigue weighed heavily on her. Despite feeling unwell, Maggie managed to fulfill her duties at work, pushing through the exhaustion with determination. She convinced herself that maybe she just needed more rest and that she would feel better the next day. However, her body had other plans. The following day, Maggie woke up to find Brad peacefully sleeping by her side as usual. As she tried to get up, she noticed a wave of fatigue and a slight feverish sensation washing over her. Concerned, she wondered why she was feeling this way. She had been eating healthily, staying active, and avoiding situations that could make her sick, yet her body's signals were hard to ignore. While taking a walk with Brad, something unexpected and alarming happened. Maggie suddenly felt dizzy and collapsed to the ground, 
With Brad barking and licking her in distress, passersby rushed to help, drawing attention to the scene. They helped Maggie to her feet and sat her on a nearby bench, offering assistance and concern. Confused and weak, Maggie couldn't understand what had just transpired. Her fatigue had reached a critical point, almost causing her to faint. Realizing the seriousness of her condition, she knew it was time to seek medical attention. With the help of the kind strangers, Maggie was taken back to her house. Despite her weakened state, she managed to order an Uber to take her to the hospital. She couldn't risk driving in her condition. As they headed for the hospital, Maggie's mind raced with worry and confusion. She didn't know what was happening to her, but she knew she needed medical help to figure it out. Maggie braced herself for the unknown journey ahead at the hospital. Arriving at the hospital, Maggie was promptly attended to by a doctor who listened attentively to her symptoms and conducted a thorough examination, checking her vital signs and running several tests. She described her fatigue, feverish episodes, and occasional muscle aches, hoping for some insight into what could be causing her discomfort. Maggie felt a mix of anxiety and hope as she awaited the doctor's diagnosis. Back in the doctor's office, Maggie sat nervously, her mind racing with thoughts of what the doctor might say. She had informed her manager about the urgent medical situation, hoping for a quick resolution that wouldn't keep her away from work for too long. As the doctor entered with a gentle smile, Maggie felt a bit at ease, sensing that perhaps the news wouldn't be as dire as she feared. With a calm demeanor, the doctor explained that despite conducting various tests, they couldn't find any specific illness or condition causing Maggie's symptoms. Maggie's initial shock turned into confusion and disbelief. How could she be feeling so unwell without a clear medical reason? She chuckled nervously at the irony of the situation, trying to process the unexpected news. The doctor understood her confusion and advised her to take a few days off work and focus on resting and recuperating. As Maggie prepared to leave the doctor's office, a sudden thought crossed her mind. She felt a slight and unusual nudge to inform the doctor about her sleeping pattern with Brad by her side every night. It was a detail she hadn't given much thought to until now, but she couldn't ignore the timing of her symptoms coinciding with Brad's presence in her life. Maggie explained to the doctor that ever since she had adopted Brad and started having him sleep beside her each night, her fatigue and feverish episodes had begun. At first, it seemed like a coincidence, but as she spoke the words aloud, a realization slowly dawned on her. The doctor listened attentively, and as Maggie recounted her experience, a light of understanding flickered in the doctor's eyes. The doctor speculated that Maggie might be experiencing a similar allergic reaction to Brad's fur. Since her symptoms began with Brad sleeping next to her every night, it seemed plausible that the allergen could be the cause of Maggie's illness. Maggie was taken aback by the diagnosis. As a lifelong dog lover who had never shown signs of being allergic to dogs before, this revelation surprised her. However, the doctor explained that allergies could develop suddenly, even in adults, and that it was not uncommon. To address the potential allergy, the doctor prescribed medications for Maggie and advised her to avoid contact with Brad as much as possible to test if her health would improve. Maggie nodded in agreement, grateful for the doctor's insight and hopeful that this newfound awareness would lead to a solution for her health issues. She felt concern about Brad though and how their relationship would evolve if she was allergic to his fur. With a mixture of surprise, concern, and determination, Maggie left the hospital. She knew that following the doctor's advice was crucial for her well-being, even if it meant temporarily distancing herself from her beloved canine companion. Maggie, heeding the doctor's advice, began to notice a slight improvement in her health within just a few days of not sleeping with Brad by her side. She took proactive measures, getting new bedsheets, duvets, and pillow covers that Brad had not slept on. It wasn't an easy adjustment, but she was determined to try. Convincing Brad to sleep away from the bed on the corridor proved challenging. He had grown accustomed to their nightly routine of cuddling close, making it hard for Maggie to break the habit. To maintain distance, Maggie had to prevent Brad from entering her room altogether. She chained him on a leash in the corridor, and the only interaction she allowed was when she fed him. She also paused their walks for a week following the doctor's prescriptions diligently. As days passed, Maggie noticed a significant improvement in her energy levels. 
She felt less fatigued and was as productive as she used to be at work. Slowly, she started to believe that the doctor's speculation about her being allergic to dogs might be true, despite her love for being close to dogs, especially Brad. However, Maggie couldn't help but feel a pang of guilt whenever she saw Brad eagerly nudging her for treats or playtime while being kept on a leash in the corridor. He would whine softly when she left, missing their playful antics. Maggie knew it was for her health, but it still tugged at her heartstrings. A week after feeling well enough, Maggie couldn't resist the urge to be with her canine companion again. She resumed taking Brad on walks, enjoying their time together outdoors. Soon enough, Brad started strolling into her room in the middle of the night, seeking his usual spot beside her. The familiar companionship and closeness resumed, bringing comfort and joy to both Maggie and Brad. Their bond remained strong despite the temporary separation for Maggie's health. Brad's presence continued to brighten Maggie's days, and she cherished every moment they spent together. Maggie's improving health took a pause and started to dwindle just days after finishing her medications and allowing Brad to resume sleeping with her. She noticed the return of fatigue and feverish feelings, signaling a setback in her recovery. Torn between her love for dogs and the allergic reaction her body had to them, Maggie felt conflicted and frustrated. However, another shocking discovery caught Maggie's attention. She noticed that Brad was limping at times, showing signs of discomfort. Upon closer examination, she was shocked to find that Brad's groin area was swollen and seemed to be causing him pain. This added to Maggie's worries, realizing that both she and Brad were now sick, and it wasn't a good situation. Deciding to prioritize Brad's health, Maggie called over her new friend in the neighborhood, Mary, who happened to be a vet. Mary's arrival brought a mix of relief and concern. However, when Mary examined Brad's swollen groin area, her initial smile turned into a sad and worried expression. This change in demeanor alarmed Maggie, heightening her concern for Brad's condition. Maggie couldn't help but ask Mary what could be wrong with Brad. Mary, with a serious tone, explained that they needed to bring Brad to the vet hospital for a proper checkup and diagnosis. She mentioned that Brad's symptoms, particularly the swollen groin area, could be indicative of a zoonotic disease common in animals, affecting their reproductive system. The mention of a zoonotic disease shocked Maggie to the core. She realized that if Brad indeed had such an illness, it could mean that she had contracted it from him. The fatigue and feverish feeling she experienced could be early symptoms of the same disease. However, Mary refrained from disclosing the specific name of the disease without proper tests and confirming her suspicions. Maggie's eyes widened with a mix of shock and worry. The possibility of a zoonotic disease spreading from Brad to her was alarming. Mary's cautious approach and insistence on proper diagnosis added to Maggie's anxiety. With Brad's health and her own well-being hanging in the balance, Maggie braced herself for the upcoming tests and the uncertainty that lay ahead. After discussing casual issues and work-related talks with Mary, Maggie's mind was constantly worried about Brad's situation and the possibility of her being infected by his ailment. However, she knew that there had not been any official medical examinations conducted yet, and it was still a speculation. She hoped to take Brad to the vet hospital the next working day for the necessary tests. Even after Mary had left, Maggie couldn't shake off the sadness she felt seeing Brad in pain. He would limp, put his tail down, lay on the floor, and cuddle himself, sometimes whimpering. She noticed that his appetite had drastically reduced too. Despite this, Maggie stayed by his side, offering soothing words to comfort him as she waited for the vet hospital visit the next day. The following morning, Maggie was still feeling feverish and fatigued, but she managed to gather herself and called an Uber for herself and Brad to the vet hospital. Mary, who was already expecting them, attended to them swiftly. Brad was examined and tested, and when the results came out, Maggie was left in shock as her jaw dropped in surprise. The vet doctor, Mary, disclosed that Brad had an ailment called brucellosis. She explained that brucellosis in dogs is a contagious bacterial infection caused by brucella canis, primarily affecting the reproductive system. Infected male dogs develop epidemitis, while females may experience infertility or miscarriages. This explained Brad's swollen groin area and slight pains. 
While Maggie wondered how Brad contracted the disease, Mary explained that transmission between dogs occurs through close contact with bodily fluids, such as during breeding or by ingesting contaminated materials. The only possibility was that Brad got infected at the animal shelter where Maggie had adopted him. Brucellosis can also be a zoonotic disease, meaning it can jump from animals to humans. People can become infected through contact with infected dogs, their tissues, or bodily fluids. Though saddened and shocked by the diagnosis, Maggie was relieved that she was not allergic to dogs after all. She knew she would have to go for one more checkup to confirm if she had been infected. Despite the challenges ahead, she was glad that they had uncovered the root of the problem, a bacteria that threatened to disrupt the close bond she and Brad shared. With the shocking revelation, Mary prescribed some drugs for Brad but recommended that Brad stay at the vet hospital for a few days for his and Maggie's well-being. At the vet hospital, Brad's recovery process would be closely monitored, and meanwhile, Maggie could stay away from him to undergo her own medical checkups. Once confirmed positive for brucellosis, she would receive treatment, and they could reunite after being properly treated. It felt like torture for Maggie to think about how she would stay without her lovely companion, Brad, for a few days, but she knew it was the right decision for their health and safety. Maggie went to the hospital and explained her situation, mentioning the possibility of contracting brucellosis from her dog. The doctor, who had previously assumed she was allergic to dogs, was shocked because detecting the early stages of brucellosis in humans was very difficult. However, after the test, it came out positive that brucellosis had been the cause of her ailment all along. Now that they knew what they were dealing with, Maggie was given strong antibiotics to combat and eliminate the bacteria from her body. Treatment would take over a week, during which she would have to avoid contact with Brad until he too was declared fine. This disease was not to be trifled with. Brucellosis, if left untreated, can lead to severe complications such as meningitis, inflammation of the meninges, encephalitis, inflammation of the brain, endocarditis, inflammation of the heart, and osteomyelitis, inflammation of the bones. Additionally, brucellosis can cause symptoms such as depression, and if not properly addressed, it can be life-threatening. This explained Maggie's lethargic state. Maggie went home and started with her medications. She was surprised at how quickly she was recovering. However, she made sure to complete her dose and took precautions like changing bedsheets, covers, and anything that could have possibly had fluids from Brad in the house. After a week of treatment and not seeing Brad, Maggie was anxious and eager when she got a call from Mary. Her excitement knew no bounds when she was informed that Brad could be discharged as he had recovered too. Hearing that Brad had seemed depressed in her absence warmed her heart, as she had missed him dearly. It was a beautiful reunion moment for Brad and Maggie as the hospital staff watched in awe, some shedding tears of joy as they witnessed Brad, who had been depressed and unresponsive for days, suddenly light up with joy. Brad wagged his tail furiously and barked happily as soon as he saw Maggie. They hugged each other tightly and Brad licked her affectionately. The hospital staff had their hearts warmed by the beautiful moment. After the reunion, they both went home, and this time, Maggie didn't have to worry about avoiding physical contact with her dog or sharing the same bed with him. She didn't wake up feeling feverish or fatigued anymore. They were happy that, together, they had overcome an unexpected ailment that threatened to ruin their close bond, and they came out victorious. What a beautiful story! What would you do if an ailment threatened to separate you from your pet animal? Let us know in the comments section.